Oh dear, look who it is, slipping into old routines. Hello, it's me. I'm back. Uh, I'm not going to apologise for it being three weeks since my last video because apologising implies that I don't plan on doing it again. I mean, y you know what you signed up for when you subscribed. So, you've no one to blame but yourself. Oh, and I got a haircut as well. Um, I would take it down, but it's just chaotic today, which is why it's up. But, I mean, it's it's kind of this length. For those of you who care that much about the pieces of dead skin upon my head, which I'm fairly sure is no one, let's be honest. So moving on aside from all of that rambling, I would like to talk about tattoos. And in particular, how people feel the need to talk to you about your tattoos. Now I personally have two tattoos. One is quite visible, it's on my wrist. Uh, the other one is only really sort of visible in the summertime because it's on the bottom half of one of my legs. And about 90% of the time people are absolutely fine with tattoos as long as it's not anything hugely offensive like swear words or you know completely obscene it's usually fine but I just want to talk about the small minority of people that think it's okay to comment on other people's tattoos and tell them that they'll look horrible when they're older or that they just don't look nice or that they're sort of judging you for getting it and I just want to spread word that this is not okay I mean a tattoo ultimately when you have got it it's a part of your body I mean it's there forever it's the, it's sort of the equivalent of going up to someone and going you know your face looks really horrible it's gonna be all wrinkly and stuff when you're older and they're like well great thanks now I feel terrible I mean once you've got the tattoo there is absolutely no productivity involved in telling someone that it's gonna look horrible when it's older because they've already they've already got it now I mean what are they gonna do just go great thanks not that it's even any of anyone's business except for the person who gets the tattoo as to whether they should get it or not and also side note even people who have tattoos themselves and love them but think that you should only get a tattoo if it's really important to you or it's something significant and they're like oh well i don't understand people that get a tattoo just for the sake of it like that's so stupid because ultimately they just want it and they got it. I mean what what's wrong with that? Because I mean one of my tattoos, uh, my smile one, is written out in Tom Fletcher from McFly slash YouTube <laughs> these days. Um, it's written out as handwriting and smile is a McFly song. Uh, and that song means a lot to me and they're just my favourite band and they have been for so many years. So it means a lot to me. Whereas my other tattoo I have is a giant mermaid which <laughs> which doesn't quite have so much significance but I've just loved The Little Mermaid since I was born basically and I just think she's awesome and really cool so I got her as a tattoo but that doesn't make my mermaid tattoo any less significant to me as my smile one does and I just, I just think people forget that. They sort of see the tattoo as a piece of art separate from the person's body, but ultimately it is on your body, it's there forever. There is absolutely no use in criticising it, all you're going to do is upset the person. I, I mean, it's not like you're going to go, oh that doesn't look very nice, maybe, maybe you're going to regret that one day, and they're going to go, you know what, I think you're right, I'll just go get that surgically removed now, shall I? <laughs> so yeah, that's all I really wanted to mention today. Just, you know, respect other people, they choose to have tattoos, you choose not to. You don't find people with tattoos insulting you for not having them, so don't insult people for choosing to have them. You know, spread the love, not the hate. Just be more respectful of people. I, do, I just think some people need reminding of this now and then. So that's all I have to say today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.